he's like, oh, uh, my show, blah, blah, is sold out. I'm like, I didn't ask you. He said that when he was naked. My, so, my show is sold out. Is his dick out? That is insane. This is why you should never fuck comics. That's fucking psycho behavior. Yeah, because he's hot. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break my rules. And I was, also, I, was, I don't know. I, I was know. touching his dick. He sticks in my hand. And he's then like, he's like my, check out my event, right? It's so yeah. <laughs> Dudes, then are I just like, awful. I'm just like, <laughs> tempting, but no. You know, it was just like, what I mean, the it's fuck? Crazy. I really want to fuck you. I want to fuck a comedian. And I felt like if you're already touching his dick, all he had to do was not talk about ticket sales. It's so easy. But it was hard for him. When you're, hard, when you're horny, not to talk about tickets. Yeah. But, but also that the interesting psyche thing for a lot of male comedians or whatever, I feel like a lot of times, to your point, they have to maybe feel like, I'm like higher level than you mm-hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm fucking you. Mm-hmm. And so even when you're naked, you, you, you're like listing your credits. Hi guys, I'm Jiao Ying Summers. Welcome back to Tiger Milk Podcast. Uh, this guest is fucking amazing. He's a great comedian and uh, a friend of mine. And I reached out uh, to ask for advice when I started comedy. I already for the very handsome, very funny, Fumi Abe! Whoa, <laughs> thank you for having me. And thank you for saying I'm handsome. That's so nice. We are good looking. You may not like dogs, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jiao Ying brought her dog here. And uh, I'm not a fan. I'll be honest with you. Fumi is like, okay, that's a cute dog that uh, walks around and jumps. What kind of dog yeah. is this, by the way? It's very. It's a small. Yorkie. Yorkie. Yeah, Yorkshire Terrier. All right. Panda. So he's just walking around. Uh, I told Fumi I, I recently start to be nice to him because I uh, finally I kind of half recovered from my trauma, my abusive marriage, mm-hmm. and now I just. Uh, feel like there's things in life that's pretty beautiful. And and the, the panda is one of them. Yeah, panda is a cute one. And yeah. like uh, flowers are nice, you know. Uh, things are nice. Did you pick this dog or was this your husband's oh, dog? My ex-husband, uh, uh, when I was pregnant uh, with, uh, I think before, I, uh, yeah, when I was pregnant with my daughter, uh, he picked this dog. He, he, he purchased the dog. He bought a dog. I wanted to go to the shelter and get an ugly dog, but he wanted. <laughs> they are all ugly yeah. in the shelter. We know that. Right, Let's just right, be right. honest. I fucked. don't think they are pretty, but they deserve to be alive. And uh, they, they can be um, more grateful. So I, I think. Sure, sure. Yeah, I would prefer the shelter dog. But this, he really wanted to buy a mm-hmm. dog look just like my old dog. So she got you this one and you got it from the shop. So it's not, it's ungrateful. Yeah, he just doesn't really know. He's not really smart. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. I, you know what? I, your dog is fine. I don't like the ones that like… The reason why I say I don't like dogs is because a lot of my friends' dogs… Grew up, growing up in the Midwest, a lot of them are like… I don't know dog types, but they always said they were like chocolate labs. I don't know what that means. Was that oh, chocolate? chocolate lab is like… They have uh, chocolate nose, eyes, and chocolate uh, coats. They are lab- Labrador. They're big and they're they stinky. They take huge shits. They're huge and they jump up on you and they take your shit and like they get hair all over your clothes. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't… I have memories of that. So I, I don't like whatever dog that is. Well, all my yeah. Japanese friends like things clean. Yeah, I and think… They're on time too. Yes, and our dog. I love that. Can you just do like teach me how to, how can I be more on time? How can I be? Yeah, I'm surprised you were late. You know, I'll be honest with you. Really? Yeah, because you're. I feel like you're very organized, and you're like, you know, you're always hustling and stuff. And I feel like I'm hustling. I feel like uh, the part of the hustle is like being prompt. You know. I know that's like a, what. You're late because you you were putting on this racist costume for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's not racist. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you. I think it's okay if you if you're right because you're a racist. I forgive you. you know what I'm yeah. I I love this. I I got it from the Asian Hall of Fame. Uh, uh, she she's the the chairman. She's uh, half Taiwanese, half Japanese, and she gifted me this. Oh really? And it is handmade in Japan with gold. What is this? I don't know what. I this don't is. know. It's what it's like. Because not like a full on kimono. It's, it's just not sort kimono. of like a. It's like a little uh, PJ in Chinese way. PJ like a shoulder shoulder wear. Shoulder wear. It's like a, it's like a scarf, but uh, it's more like. A, yeah, it's cool. It's more Japanese. And I what just, what did you mean when you said Asian Hall of Fame? I got lost. What does that mean? It's like a Asian Hall of Fame is a. Uh, I don't want to brag. It's a, like an NGO. And uh, it's a nonprofit the, organization. Yeah, it's an NGO. They inducted Asian people, famous people, into the hall. Wait, so I was it's just, Is it Asian American hall? It was just Asian hall. Like uh, anything Asian is in include there? the Asians or Asian Americans. Oh my or gosh! API. So I was inducted with Margaret Cho on twenty twenty two, as the class of twenty twenty two. Margaret Cho and you were the class of twenty twenty two. There's more people. There's more business people. Wow! But I was inducted with her, and she. Uh, 
Uh, she has a better one than mine. How the fuck did Margaret Cho not get in until 2022? That's crazy. She just said no until she was like, you know what? I'm I'm ready. Oh wow! Whatever. I but, love that. But it's, they keep they, they would keep nominating, and uh, she probably would feel like uh, when she's ready. Or, or right, when she's ready. right, right. But uh, this is what they gave me. You can move the fur if you you know if you have people who love animals, they they get angry. Oh, so, so you, you can, can take it off. Fur. See, they give everybody this. No, just you. Just like uh, um, Margaret gets better ones than mine, obviously, but uh, similar. Well, well, we got it because she's Maki. She's that's a Japanese name, right? She's half Japanese, half Taiwanese. That's cool. Anyways, Asian I just thought I'm gonna be racist and pay my respect to my great Japanese friend. I think that's totally fine. I think it was racist, but it could be. No, it's not. I'm I mean, just, people I'm just, think I'm, I'm Japanese. Yeah, wear this. If I don't talk, they'd be like, okay. Yeah, maybe be Japanese. Yeah, I just think it's funny to like. How to be on time? Can you please just teach people how to be on time? Because you're always on time. Well, that's kind of all I have going for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just probably you are just uh, ahead of your time. I am ahead of my time. Yes, I mean you just you know you got. Do you lie to yourself? If do I like myself? Do you lie to yourself? Like you tell yourself it's four <laughs> when it's five. Oh, I tried it didn't work. Oh, I, you mean to to be on time? You yeah. lied to. Oh, no. I mean sometimes I'm late, but I just like. I don't think you were ever. But late. It, but it's like a it's like a thing you have to grow up with. You can't just do it. You can't be on time now. It's my father late. never showed up. Like I just think it's. I'm Your not, father never showed up. He's always drunk. He's always sleeping, and I've never seen him. And so. Oh yeah. And his his, yeah, his mistress mistress did not like me. Okay. <laughs> his mistress didn't like. No, you? she was very. He introduced you to his mistress. Yeah, because uh, she worked at my mom's uh, hotel as a massage lady, so she was wow. a whore. Um, wow. She was beautiful. She was young and beautiful. No, no, I was younger. Yeah. I was like eleven, and she was oh, just God. really pretty. Yeah. Like, I would say like seventeen, eighteen, whatever. And she never liked me. I don't know. She was very competitive with me. I mean, I don't think that anyone's mistress is going to be fond to the guy's kid. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think there's any kid out there who's like, I love my dad's, you know, that's mistress. True. So I think that's okay. That's true. So I, I, I wasn't growing up as being on time. I just. Uh, but I'm just saying. I'm telling you, it's too late. You know, it's, it's really too late. It's a behavior you have to pick up when you're like in your teens. So what 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 was like uh, the thing your t- parents taught you that you have to be on time? Um, it wasn't really like a fear thing. I think it was just more like I saw them be on time. So like we're the kind of family that like we'll get to the airport like two hours before boarding. That's great. You know, some people just like they, they do that. this drives me crazy. Some people like roll up to the airport, go through security, and they want to walk right as they're boarding. But that's too like risky for me. You know, so like. Yeah, just little things like that. You watch your parents like be on time for shit, and then you just kind of pick it up, you know. That's what I do. Uh, I uh, walk to the boarding. You walk to the. I just uh, I I I I kind of cut it very close. Oh, you, you do that, so you yeah. get you get there late on purpose, and then you kind of. I used to miss my flights when I was drinking. Now I don't mm. miss my flight at all. I've never missed a flight. Wow, that's yeah. sexy. That is, is that sexy? Oh, oh, shall you? Have... Okay, this is really hard. Fumi, Fumi never missed a flight. <laughs> yeah, so if on Fumi won't eat your pussy, he'll make sure you come. He'll never yes, miss yes. Never one miss climax. You know, if you want to eat a pussy, you'll be like, this is what I'm doing. I do have like a, you know, I, I do feel like I have like a, this is not me flexing at all, but I do feel like my personality is very like studious. So I do approach everything in life, even when it's sex, with like a 4.0 energy. You know I love saying? that. It's like I'm not saying it's the best, but I'm gonna like try very hard. That's you know? that's hot. That is effort. <laughs> okay. That is that's hot. Yeah. Effort is hot. Effort is hot. Effort is hot. When somebody gives you effort, they you are the priority. That's really interesting you say that because I feel like maybe that's hot for people in their thirties. Like because people in their thirties were so used to people not giving a shit or people mm-hmm. not being apathetic, and so mm-hmm. I think when somebody actually cares and gives you time. It's attractive. Yeah, that's but, attractive. But in your twenties, like I think people take it for granted. Yeah, I I remember when I was twenty, I was never happy about anything. I was so insecure. Mm-hmm. I'm still insecure, but like I was completely insecure. I, I look so much better than I am now. Mm-hmm. I was skinnier. I, I'm more fit. I just hate myself. I want to throw up when oh I see my myself god. in the mirror. I was so disgusted by my how ugly I was and how stupid I was. Now I'm like, oh my god. You have a nice body, bitch. Like now I look at myself, I'm like, I'm I'm still like uh, happier about what I look now, actually. Yeah. Even though I don't look as good as I used to. I'm I like, can't believe you, because this is when you were li- living in Kentucky for college. Yeah. You felt ugly 
In Kentucky? Yeah. I don't believe that. That's crazy. I don't know why. It's just Those people don't even have teeth. That's crazy. Well, my mom would call me though. Your mom would call. She calls you me every day. Yeah, make sure I know it. Yeah, that's like a Chinese mom move. It's how's Japanese every, mom? Please tell me. They don't do that. I don't tell think. me. They're not so, as much. Okay. Well, I'm also a son, so she's yeah, not gonna say. She, she, I mean, not gonna say do you have a me. sister? I do, but I don't think. I don't think it's the same though. I don't think your sister has the same opinion about how your mom treat her. I'm sure there was some stuff, but it, it's it wasn't that intense. It's it's the casual like the grandma might be like, oh, looks like you put on some weight, but nothing like calling you. While you're studying abroad to tell you that you, you're fat or whatever. No, she didn't tell me, tell me I'm fat. She's like, uh, um, you can't afford to be fat. Oh, you're wow. already ugly. That is that is such an intense roast. Like you, you already, can't afford to be fat. Because what does already, that really mean? Because you're already ugly. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's um, yeah. I hope you got to see a therapist or something. You well, know? my therapist is still trying to work with me, and uh, I. Still is your mom still alive? She will live forever because <laughs> she's not going anywhere. I feel like mean people live forever. They do. They really they, do. Because they, they don't have no, um, th there's no stress. Yeah. They just say what the fuck they want, you know? Yeah. I, I, I really relate to you when somebody thinks their dog is super cute and jumps on you, get the fur all over you and stinky breath and just like. Uh, oh, I hate they it. They have like a dirty paw and I have one of my friend she's not my friend anymore she has this disgusting dog look like a fucking goat look shitty and disgusting with bad breath and just like uh, jumps on my couch just like uh, doing you know oh she brings thing. it to your house yeah Ugh. without without telling me and i just that dog just like do this on the couch i'm like uh, can i just like uh, stab the dog with a knife like so gross oh yeah that's like a disgusting dog I, I had a friend who like was i'm not gonna name names so but she was like Opening for like a headliner, mm -hmm. like a headliner asked her to open, and then but they had to drive to a different state, right? And so the opener was like, "I'll drive you." That's part of the deal. And then on the day, she picks her up, and then the headliner just brings this like dirty ass dog in the car, and she didn't tell her, and it would like fucking piss in the car and all this shit. So like, yeah, I don't know. People with dogs, I just feel like they think they're like better than you or something, and they're allowed to take up. What the hell? No. no. <laughs> Can you help? He knows. He knows I'm taking. Yeah, he's, he knows I'm talking he's shit. Like, he's like talking he about I'm my talking species. Shit. Yeah, I'm talking shit about you. Yeah. Yo, yeah, whatever, I'm man. Talking about you guys, you dogs. Come here. <laughs> On my beautiful Japanese robe, you can sit here and feel special. And even, when, even when you're hiking and stuff, like people with dogs, they just take up so much room. You know, yeah, and they're also, just talking. They really do think the dogs are cute? And they yes. think the dogs are the cutest. When I see somebody have a dog, their head is like a tiny little snake. The body is huge, like a fucking donkey. So gross. But it's like it's dead. like their kids, right? Yeah, like you'll see an ugly baby, but to their mom, it's a beautiful baby. But I I knew when they're ugly. Like even my own child, if they're not good looking, I'll tell them. You know, you, you tell them. I just like Winston. Your eyes are a little wonky, but uh, you are smart. So let's focus. How old today. is your son? He's old. He's like five. You tell your five year old son that his eyes are wonky. Yeah, because what do you even mean he by make that? Eye contact because he's like his dad. He just like it like this. I'm like, don't do that. That's how you knock a lady when you grow oh, up. Oh, I thought you were saying like I thought you were saying like you have like Asian -y eyes. He does. Well, yeah, because he's Asian. But I want his eyes to stay Asian forever. I don't want him to do any surgery. I want his monolid lid eye. Uh, but I just don't like when he doesn't make eye contact, his eye goes sideways. I'm just like, don't do that. Oh. You have to be confident. You have to come out of the room. Yeah. You can't be a little pussy. That's how you not get laid. It, eye contact is interesting. I, I only know this because my girlfriend used to be a speech therapist. Uh huh. But that's like a... Used to be. So she didn't do that anymore. Yeah, because it's a hard, it's a hard job. Yeah, you know? it's hard. You're it's, working with people who are having a lot of uh, trauma, right? Yeah, and like they're very ungrateful for your service because it's like, f at least in New York, it was a free service. The government, it's paid by the government. So oh. She's working with a lot of like, you know, retarded people. No, <laughs> she's working with people like you know, uh, like low income <laughs> families, which is fine. But then like. A lot of she she goes to them because they're like, hey, I think my kid might have like autism or something. So can you do like a check? But she goes there and she realizes they, they don't they don't have autism. It's just that the parents aren't talking to them enough, right? Oh. But the parents aren't talking to them because they work three jobs, mm -hmm. and so that like made her really sad. It depresses her because uh, is she Asian? No, she's Bulgarian. What are the Bulgarian people? What are they? Bo 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 Bulgarian, <laughs> Bulgarian, bo Bulgarian, bo Bulgarian. So she's like. Uh, you know Steph Tolev? The, she's Bulgarian. Oh. Yeah. But I just really remember her as a Canadian. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's, yeah, yeah. She's, I just know her more as a Canadian. Is Okay, Bulgarian. So is, is Christina P also Bulgarian? Who? Christina P. 
I don't know who Christina P is. Because I know she's Eastern European. I don't know any famous Bulgarian people. I don't really keep up with that. But yeah, they're just like out there, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of war. They're like uh, not the not the you know, they're not like Germans or French people. Mm-hmm. They're like they've had their they've had their struggle. They're pretty, they're chill. Nice. Yeah. Well, so how 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 long have you been dating your girlfriend? I've been with her for like ten years. Holy shit! That's yeah, since long. I was twenty four. That's an institution. It's an institution. Ten years. What because do you mean by that? Like it's marriage? Like, is that what you yeah, mean? it's more than marriage. We are domestic partners. Can I raise this? Is that okay? Oh, you you are DP. Yeah, we are DP, but like wow. for insurance purposes. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Have I ever met her? Do I, I ever have a, saw a photo of her? I don't think so. She doesn't really come to my comedy shows because like she's doesn't been want just, to see the yeah other she's girls. She's just seen me so many times, you know. She didn't want to see the other fans fangirl come to you be like, oh my god. I don't think she. I think she. She thinks it's funny. I, I've had people like ask me out in front of her. She thinks it's funny. She's, she has she has balls. That's nice. That's well, we've been like, together ten years. Like we have like a very strong foundation. You know, that's like, really strong because you are like committed every time you give it a four point oh um, energy when you 4. have sex. Four point oh sex. Four point oh sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very important because <laughs> some people like just like uh, some just like uh, drunk with a sloppy dick be like uh, just like let's do. It. I'm gonna give you the time of your life. Like <laughs> you know, that's yeah, the worst. That's the worst. That's the only thing I remember. But are you really like? Are you really having that kind of sex anymore? Because I feel as you get older, like you you, you get better out. You get better at like sussing out mm-hmm. who's gonna give you three point five dick and above versus yeah. like someone who's yeah. not even going to school. I can X-ray pants. I can feel. I can feel a dick from looking at a man. Really? Yeah, I can see if he's got a good dick, and I I'm all rarely wrong. Okay, can I ask you about that? Because I was having a conversation about this with my friend recently, and this might sound so stupid, but what do people mean? When they say good dick. What does that mean? Okay. Because my friend was like, it's not about the way they use it. They were like, it's just a dick alone, standalone. It has yeah. to be a good dick. And I was like, oh, I thought they meant like the way you use it. But if you're not talking about the way you use it, then what does it really mean? It look good. Like when you look at it, you're like, xiu se ke chan. in Chinese, it's like, it what looks so, xiu se means <laughs> like, so elegant and the coloring is good and it looks like you can eat it. It's just like a, the thing looks so pretty that you want to just bite it. Like a, it's a cherry, you know? A oh. Fresh cherry with like a jew on it. You just want to lick it. There's so like there's a, a jew on it? Like a, like a morning ju- dew. Oh, do, a morning a dew. dew. Yeah, I didn't oh, you're describing it. like, like oh, you know what? That's When you said that, Bread. you're talking about like morning dew, suburbs, front lawn. There's like a nice little water on the grass. Cherry, yeah. It's the peaked out. That's a really specific imagery that you're using that I didn't even know you knew about. So, yeah. so, so you're saying good dick is a guy taking off his pants and you think of like 7 a.m. You're in Columbus, Ohio. You walk out to your front yard and there's it's misty. White pink and fan. And there's beautiful and there's like some a little bit of water on the grass and it smells mm-hmm. kind of nice. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what good dick is. Like when you see a good dick, you want to fuck it. When you see a bad dick, you want to leave. And you you mm. just, it's like a it's primal. It's it's primal. It's primal. You know you want it. And like a good dick is like a Japanese, you know, like it's hi, like a good good hygiene. It's very clean. Sure, sure. A good day has to be clean. If but, you're big but I and guess cheesy, like fuck it. people have different definitions because like I think there's people out there who like dirty dick, and maybe to them that's good. Yeah. I don't think so. I I I think uh, like I want to make the dick dirty. You want to make the dick yeah, dirty. Yeah, but 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 it has, but it has to, to be clean to start. The gaggle. Yeah, I I want uh, the dick to be very clean. Like I don't. I want to only smell like uh, your um. Like a natural body. Yes, yes, yes. I want to smell what your body smells like. I don't want like uh, any deodorant and sweat. But and ha- but so oh. but you just said you can X-ray a good dick. Yeah. How do, how do you know through the X-ray what it smells like? I wouldn't know, but I just know it will be like a, it will be like a clean and decent. I don't know what smell like until I. See, I mean, I have to see, see it to really have an idea of how good it is. Yeah. Because I won't see most of the dicks because I don't. They are not good. So sure. if, if the guy is really hot and I, I look at him, I'm like, he's got a good dick and maybe we'll have coffee. And we'll, <laughs> you know, and uh, he's got a good dick. Maybe we'll have coffee. Put that on a t shirt. That's very good. Yeah, maybe we'll have coffee. <laughs> and uh, if we had coffee and maybe we have another lunch. Yeah. And if he pays us a third date, maybe we are going to, you know, kiss. If he tastes his lips, tastes good. Yeah. I think there's a good chance his dick's going to taste good. That is so interesting how your approach to it is like, because like your initial thought is very like pervy, a little naughty, a little bad. But then everything like after that, it's very sort of prudent, very conservative. Like let's, oh, you have a good ass dick, coffee. Maybe we'll kiss. Maybe we'll, 
or knees will touch. It's yeah. very cute. Oh, that's that's so sexual. It's very cute, you know. But yeah. it starts off okay. nasty. I, I need then, to because my primal kicks in because right. I don't want to waste my time. I don't right, right, have right, right, coffee right. with bad dicks. Sure. Bad. So your primal kicks in, you filter out, yeah. then you have a cute little time. Your little lady. Yeah. Take I'm me a out. Lady. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Then so it's like a nasty sandwich, and then you do the nasty. Yeah. That's yeah. very interesting. Yeah, I really like. I'm 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 primal, but then uh, the Chinese mom, you know. Talk to me in my mind, and I can't touch myself. For me, I've never had a vibrator. I, I can't touch myself. Why? I cannot enjoy the pleasure of touching myself because I'm so traumatized by my mom telling me to not touch myself. Is the worst thing you can do to yourself. That is the thing your mom talked to you about masturbation. Uh, yeah, because when I had my period and she had a big, a big dinner celebration. Asian Congratulations! Parents do that. You became a woman. Yeah. She makes you all the dishes too. you want. Yeah. Right? All the dishes because she's like, oh, now you are a woman now. You are going to have all the responsibilities and now you are also going to put, st- st- like, just st- don't be a whore. Like you are going to make sure you don't become a whore. Okay. Like uh, in Asian culture, like they disown somebody who have sex in co- in high school. Wow. I mean, I've never… Do you think people in China aren't having sex in high school? They hide it well, but uh, when I was uh, in high school, it was bad. My Mm. mom wouldn't allow me to sit next to a boy. Wow. Because they want you to do the best final exam to get in college. Because that's the one exam that determines your whole life. Sure. And they don't want you to fall in love too early and get distracted. Right. I mean, I think that's coming from a place of… Love and um, you know looking out, but but that that that's crazy. That I think that she also talked to you about master like don't touch yourself. Yeah, she didn't say masturbation. She can't say it. She will she will die if she say that. But she just want to make sure don't touch yourself there because only like the disgusting horrors do that. That's how you <gasps> disease. Wow. And if you ever touch yourself, I don't know. <gasps> Whoa! 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 That's like um. So you've never touched yourself. I tried, and I've I've. Do you think vomit. about your mom? Because you think about your mom. I don't only think about her, but it just the even me touching my nipple. I'm like, ugh, I get like icky. You touch your nipple? I don't know why I'm doing in my shower and like you know look down and be like, damn, they are nice. And yeah. then I try to touch them. I'm like, why can't I touch my nipple? Like I I can't touch my. I just can't. So you have to have other people do it for you. Oh yeah, I, I enjoy. Which is how you develop the X-ray dick. Yeah, I, I I I I I can only come. From intercourse, I've never, I've never came from a guy eating me out ever mm. in my whole life, because well, that, that like somebody touching me outside is like me touching myself. Ah, I, right, I right, 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 really, right. I just get really. I'm just like, okay. I just like, okay, okay, move. You know. So you don't even do you like it at all, or no? I, I I'm you prefer okay not with to. it. But the guys like to eat pussy because yeah. Americans are weird. You know. <laughs> you think people in other countries don't eat pussy? I've never dated a Chinese man, but I, I married to one guy that's Chinese. My ex-husband was Chinese, yeah, but the guy I dated was never a Chinese guy. He doesn't eat a pussy. He's like, that's gay. Oh, interesting. Maybe he is gay. I mean, that's true. Yeah. I mean, that, that used to be a thing. That was like a, that's like a bit in The Sopranos. It's like if you go down on the girl, it makes you like kind of feminine. Maybe he watched it and he decided that's gay. That's so interesting. Yeah, hey. I, he, he never eat my pussy. I was very happy about it. You're going to get so many DMs from Chinese guys who eat pussy. Really? Yeah, Where are they? Where are you guys? Where are the Asian guys Co- eat pussy? Leave a comment below if you're Chinese and you eat pussy, man. I mean, I, I, I'm okay with other Asians too. Korean, Japanese are okay. Filipinos. <laughs> God damn. Well, I'm sorry you have to go through that. I still go but, through it. But I hope you're having like a good, you know, journey now as an adult, you know. Um, my therapist is working with me, but it's it's hard to… So Dr. Drew is coming on my podcast to write down all the things wrong with me. That's your therapist? Uh, he's not my therapist, but he will be uh, on a podcast. Wait, to Dr. Dr. Drew? Dr. Drew, yeah. Do I know? He's famous, right? He's got a TV show. Yeah, right? like uh, he he had a, a love line with Adam. Yeah, Corolla. yeah, 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 yeah. So he's gonna tell me what's wrong with me. He's gonna write down everything, break down wow. what's going on. But uh, it was like, I couldn't uh, touch myself. I still don't want a guy to eat me out. Wow. I, I mean, I'm okay with. What that. about like fingering? It's it can be hot, but uh, um. So you just go coffee kiss sex. I mean, coffee kiss. We can fuck. kiss. You don't even like kissing. I, we can dry hump. You like dry humping. That sounds like sex to me. Right, right, right. Because like fingering, I'm like, a, I feel like 
it could be my finger, and then I, I got. I also, up. anything that can be interpreted as like I could do this to myself. Exactly. That's why I don't watch one on one porn because I, if I can do that to myself, I can fuck a guy like you. Why would I watch you with my precious time? I want a gang bang. You know, I want a girl to take twenty dicks. You want, okay, you want something that you can never do yourself. Yeah, I just like uh huh. Yeah, she's the fucking she's she's amazing. But I wouldn't do a gang bang because I'm so traditional and romantic, and I. I can't. I really. I try to have one night stand sometime, but I couldn't do it because I fall in love. Next thing you know, I'm looking Whoa. for a ring. Oh my god! That's... I know. That's why I'm by myself. But you. But you've been. You know. Yeah, I've. You've been. I've had some nice dicks in my lifetime. Like recently. Yeah. I heard you on some podcast. Yeah. 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 I, I, got good I heard dick. you on Carrie Carrie's podcast. Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you on her podcast. Oh my god. Yeah. She she bring out the slut in me. Yeah, but I I just I never had. A I was actually surprised that you you did that. Can I say? I mean, it's yeah. part. Well, that you like, like had you hooked up with a comedian. I did not. I I, tr- I tried to hook up. I talked to what's her name, Marilyn. Marilyn, right? I tried it, and it, it it didn't work out well. Oh, you tried to hook up with Marilyn? No, no. I told Marilyn I tried to hook up with a comedian. Oh, and, uh, I, 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 see. I I tried to fuck him, and I couldn't do it. Why? I just uh, I just feel like uh, he's like tr- tr- trying to like out with me. He's trying to out with you during sex. He's trying to be funny. Even before you? sex, like uh, like uh, we we went pretty far, and I just like kind of like uh, uh, it was just like he's like uh, I was like uh, he's like oh uh, my show blah blah is sold out. I'm like uh, I didn't ask you. He said that when he was naked. My so my show is sold out. His dick out. That is insane. This is why you should never fuck comics. That's fucking psycho behavior. Yeah, because he's hot. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break my rules. And I, w- also, I was, I don't know. I, I don't was know. touching his dick. His dick's in my hand. And he's then like, check like, out my event, right? It's so yeah. <laughs> Dudes, then are I just awful. like, uh, I'm just like, uh, <laughs> tempting, but no. You know, it was just like, what I mean, the it's fuck? Crazy. I really want to fuck you. I want to fuck a comedian. And I felt like if you're already touching his dick, all he had to do was not talk about ticket sales. It's so easy. But it was hard for him. When you're, hard, when you're horny, not to talk about ticket sales. Yeah. But, but also that the interesting psyche thing for a lot of male comedians or whatever. I feel like a lot of times, to your point, they have to maybe feel like, I'm like higher level than you mm-hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm fucking you. Mm-hmm. And so even when you're naked, you, you, you're like listing your credits. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I like, was not he's inside happy. you and he's like, I've done JFL. You know? Yeah, JFL. I'm like, by the way, he's like, by, oh, by the way, because he's like, oops, beep. Like, I just got to, you know, yeah, it's sold out. I'm so, what? What? He goes, oh, yeah, my show. I was like, Meh. you know, it was, yeah. And then he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like He's like, what are you doing? I said, I want to get some tea. Then he's like, okay. He not, he was naked and walking around. And he's like, oh, we are not doing this? I said, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I just, uh, I, I feel very dry right now. You feel very dry right now? Yeah, I do. I didn't feel dry. I dried that's out. A, that's a hard thing to hear yeah, when you I, thought you were going to I'm never dry. I'm like, if I feel dry, you should die. You know? that, that's, <laughs> that's also like, uh, I feel very dry. I've never... That is that's that's because a dagger for his moist. heart. I, I, I You're mean, always moist. Not always. The, the moments I get turned on, I get so wet in one second. I mean that makes sense. But if I get yeah. turned off, yeah, I'm like like this. Well, that's that's the way it should be. I think. I'll bite your dick off like a fucking shark. I'm like done. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't yeah, yeah, be yeah. like let's just like uh, let's just uh, feel it out. I don't feel anything out. I know exactly. I want a dick. I'll get on my knees and suck that dick. I don't want it. You can put it on my, like, you can give me a million dollars here. I, I'm just like, gonna go. I can't do it. I just, like, I don't know why. And I wish I can just, like, uh, not waste my beautiful young, young actress years when I was 20. Yeah. I should just, like, really, really fuck some powerful uh, producers. I regret that every day. Oh, like in your 20s, you mean? Oh, yeah. I regret that every day. Because I have a nice, rich, com- like, uh, producers who are actually nice to me. I, I feel I like, like my if you guys. wanted to do something like that, I feel like you could still do that. Now? Right now, no, I, I I'm too old for it because I don't really need to fuck anybody for anything anymore. Oh, gotcha. Because like, you, you figure out how to get yeah, it. Yeah, because uh, yeah, from uh, being a fucking peasant. Yeah, I worked from the bottom, just yeah. like being a fucking pe- peasant my whole life. Yeah, but see, that's why you you got that 4.0 energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I feel like when I first met, I was like, oh, you know, that's that, that, that's how we connected. I feel. Yeah, but that's when I, you find I, I was late. You're like a. 4.0 dicks oh. recognizes 4.0. Yeah, but now you have a 3.8 because you're late. But that's yeah. okay. That's still that. it's that's still, still high. Mainly eight, eight means a lot of money in Chinese, so I'd rather have an eight. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Six is lucky, eight is a lot of money. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, so it's tricky for me. But I, I when young girls ask me, like, oh my God, you know, should I fuck him? I say, you're fucking, you're fucking. You're going to fuck a loser too. So if mm. he's going to give you what you want, fuck him. 
Yeah. I, 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 I couldn't do it because I was stupid. I thought about it a lot of times. It's like, uh, I have so many guys, I thought it's going to be great uh, who, like, uh, take advantage from me. They say the right thing. They're like, oh, I'm going to be nice to you, blah. But they would, uh, like, uh, steal things from you. Like, uh, use your connections without you knowing it. Uh, like, uh, sabotaging and the, this and that. And then, Wait, like, this happened in your 20s? Oh, yeah, late 20s. Like, wow. 20s. So, but uh, you weren't even doing comedy. I wasn't, but I was. But you were doing acting. I was doing acting. That's right. That's things right. Things like that. I, I have so many. Even the guys I don't really date, but I thought it would be good. Now I realize it's just it's a transaction. You know, if mm. you want something, this guy's gonna give it to you, and you are gonna date him for a while. Just date him. Maybe at least he's honest. Like, okay, like if you be with me, you date me, I'm gonna give you this role. It's better than a guy who just like use you and date three girls at the same time, telling you the right thing, right, fuck you right, and steal right. your money and take your fucking. I don't know. Costco membership, you know? But I think if you really fucked those producers in your 20s, I think you would have become like a different person. And I actually don't even know if you, I don't know if you would have pursued comedy, to be honest with you. Because I think part of like what makes anyone want to pursue comedy is they feel like no one's looking at them. You know, they, you, you, you feel like, oh my God, like, no one cares about me. And the only way mm -hmm. is for me to pay $5 and go to this open mic and now I get to hold the microphone for Maybe that's true for me. I'll be so rich and beautiful. I have five Yorkies. You know, I'll be like a, a successful actress who don't speak English, you know. That'll be a life. But I don't, yeah, I wouldn't have my children either. Yeah, because you went through that that hardship of like, you just didn't. You didn't get everything you wanted back. Kind of no one. Of, no one gave you shit, right? No, so I, I feel did. like. Yeah. But that's why. But in a weird way, if you did fuck those producers, you wouldn't have been a comedian, and that's and that's a good thing too. You know, mm -hmm. I think like sometimes, I, if I had like had a better upbringing, I probably wouldn't do comedy because I'd, I'd be happier. Yeah. You yeah. know, if my mom never called me, I would not be a comedian. Exactly. exactly. But she called. She managed to manage, like she she got hold of me. She and you know what's interesting is that you would pick up every time she'd call. I'm that, afraid. That's a whole. I got excited too. I'm like, mommy's calling me. Every time, but you knew every time she's gonna roast you, but you were still. Yeah, yeah. I, I still like, I want her approval and I'll never get it. Mm. If I die on Tombstone, she'd be like, Pff. I wish you could be taller, you know? Bro, <laughs> what the fuck, man? She's disgusting. <laughs> like, she just, like, my, my ex husband knows that, uh, like, I, I just, I, I think, like, the reason why I suffer my ex husband for so long is that uh, he gradually speaks like my mom. And uh, I felt uh, like a family. He, whenever he's like, uh, oh, you know, um, Madam Jiang Kaishi's wife, <laughs> Madam Jiang Kaishi, you know, Jiang Kaishi's wife, like the uh, Chinese Kuomintang party, the leader. Yeah. His wife is um, Song Meiling. So she's like a, such a beautiful, glamorous lady. And he's like, do you know that she never removed her makeup before her husband go to sleep? And she would never show her husband with no makeup when he wakes up. You should do that because when I see you have no makeup on, um, it depressed me. Wow. Your husband said that? Yeah. Yeah. That. Um, how did you meet this husband? But when I met him, he was like the best person in the world. And he, changed. he was a different person. He was like, you are so beautiful. I love your dark skin color. I love everything about you. you that, are so he charming. opened with, your, I love your dark skin color. That was his pickup. Because I was so tan. I was hosting the Shanghai Film Festival. And I was like the darkest girl. And people were like, oh my God, <laughs> is that a real tan? You're like dark. I'm like, that's a tan and I'm dark. And he's like, oh, I love your skin color. It's very sunshine. It's like California, blah, Baywatch and stuff. I'm like, that's nice. He's like Chinese men, <laughs> like Baywatch. <laughs> oh, they, they like tits, but like Asian men don't like tan women. Mm. They like bleached assholes, you know, they want mm -hmm. you to be so white. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Yeah. if you go to Japan, you know, in, in Asia, they want the girls to be fair skinned. I think in general, if you look at any Asian makeup commercial, mm -hmm. right, they're Asian. Yes. Asian people naturally have this kind of skin color, but they're always extra white. Yeah, they, yeah, that's it's about the class because rich people don't work at farms. Exactly. That's, it's not like a racism, they don't like you to be dark. Because being dark means you are low class. Yes, you're so You have to the work sun. in the farm. Yep. yep and yep. in China, the same way. So he just loved me being me. And then he stopped loving me being me. So when I had the children, he did not want me to work at all. Mm -hmm. So he also, like, uh, whenever he verbally abused me, I feel like, uh, oh, I found my family. It's like, yeah. I, I, I didn't like it. You didn't like it. I didn't know what's wrong until it got really bad to a point he started making fun of uh, um, what I used to. I used to stutter and he was like, oh, you should not be taping this important show because you stutter and it's important you're going to stutter on the show. And so I'm like, oh, he's mm. evil. Then I'm like, I can't believe you, you, you would say that about me. I start stuttering and yeah. he started mocking me. Oh my God. Then I lost it. Then I'm like, okay, that's not 
that's not gonna work. And I slapped him. <laughs> Good. I mean, he hit me back, Good. obviously. But oh shit! But I just don't want to be the bitch who's a victim. Like I, my husband didn't just like punch me because I was ugly. You know, I hit him and yeah. he hit me back. Yeah, and that's what that's what end off everything. Oh, really? so when he when he laid his yeah, he hand never out. he never hit me. Uh, right, right. But uh, you know, I slapped him hard because I was mad. Of course. Like, I I don't want people like people change story like oh he just beat me all the time. Right, right, right. Because sometimes. I, it's, I mean, there's men are violent and it's so hard for women to leave because when you have children, it's the worst because you cannot walk away from your children. Right. And when even the man has more power than money, not seeing your children again is the worst thing can ever happen to a woman. They will stay. Mm -hmm. So I had to go through hell to get my kids and to leave. But uh, it was worth it. But I just uh, feel like uh, the more I grow, the, the older I am, the less I want to make him look evil. Because we're just, we are the wrong match, you know, if there's a, a obedient Is he woman. still in L.A.? He's like uh, China and here, but he's not really in the picture for the gotcha. children. Yeah. Gotcha. But it's fine. I mean, I, I, I allow them to see him whenever he wants to see them. Oh, that's nice. It's in the, he's always going to be a better father to them than be a good husband to me. Mm -hmm. And they have the right to have their father in their life. Right, right, right. right. And they... Whatever he shows them is what their father is to them. I don't yeah. want to, to bring my trauma into them. It mm -hmm. makes them not confident. Do you have a daughter? I have a daughter. Yeah. Very, she's three. But she might five. ask about that one day, you know? Not now, but like when she's she 20 will. or something. Yeah, she, I mean, she see him sometimes, like every three months and stuff. Yeah. She, she, she knows who he is. And, uh, mm, I think I think she she understands that he's not very present mm -hmm. as she wants. I, I mean, she is she wants oh, it's going down. <laughs> Sorry. She I mean, but I think she'll be fine. Yeah. She'll be okay. Oh, it's all good. She'll yeah. understand. She didn't ask as much as she used to because you know now she understands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, this is Angelito, our producer. Yes, look at. He's a Filipino. This podcast got a little bit of everything, a little bit of dick talk, a little bit of serious divorce talk. This is crazy. Uh, All I mean, people. I just don't want to be the victim. The more, I, the older I am, the less of, of a victim I want to be. You know, I have flaws, but uh, but I don't deserve to be mentally abused. But uh, I've been so mentally abused, so I don't really know I was being. Abused. I mean, you're just trying to move on. I yeah, I, that's why. Like, we just need to really understand it. Our boundaries because yeah. sometimes you love your parents so Ooh, much. See, that's good therapy working. Yeah, they say shit. You there know? you go. Boundary, boundary. <laughs> the B. Yeah. Okay. They say shit. You know, they say crazy shit to yeah. you and you think it's normal. Then mm -hmm. when other people say shit to you, you're like, okay. Right. Hello. Right. That's my family. I didn't know. I shouldn't know. But I feel like when your heart feels icky, something weird, like you feel something in your stomach, that something's wrong. You should just like take a break. Be like, okay, I have to pee and think about it. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes like, oh, you look a little fat today, you know. But it's okay. You look cute. But you're like, okay, yeah. Uh, but uh. but you should be like, wait a minute. Let me think about it. Yeah. Wait, when, does your mom still call you today? She doesn't think I'm fat. She's like, you, you know, you look okay. But you look okay. Oh, that's for, good. So you look okay for a civilian. But if you're a performer, you have to really go to work out your body because you look a little flabby. Okay, but that's not nearly as bad as what it used to be. Yeah, because now I give her money, so. Oh. You know, in Asian culture, it doesn't matter what you do. You can be whatever. As long as you start giving your parents money, they stop roasting your job. Right, right, right. Because right. that means success. Right. If you can buy your mom a Mercedes, she's like, okay, you can do whatever the little thing you do, but I, I, I'm okay. I didn't know you gave your mom money. I didn't give her a lot of money, but uh, on Mother's Day, I bought her a Mercedes. What the hell? And then... <laughs> What is um, going on with your life? This is crazy. And next day. You got buy Mercedes money? This is crazy. I do. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not like the best Mercedes. But you bought like a new one? Basic SUV. You bought a used one? Uh, like a one year old. It's not. But you bought a cash? Or you financed it? Financed. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I don't I don't want to buy this cash. Yeah, I mean, that's like a lot of, yeah. It's a lot of cash. And it's, it's, she, like, next day, she's like, you know, your room is so messy. It's so gross. You are a pig. Did the Japanese thing with your room. Wow. I'm like, mom, I just got you a car yesterday. Yeah. She goes, it's been 24 hours. What do you want me to do? Be happy? Yo. Yeah, you... It's been 24 hours? You know, it's so... I feel like I hear a lot of this That's shit why my problems. father's drunk. I'm like, that's why daddy's drunk. Because I want to be drunk around you too. You are the problem. He's drunk. You ever thought about like cutting shit off with your mom? My therapist is like, you should not talk to your mom. But like, I feel like uh, I have this like toxic relationship with her. Like, I'm just like, uh, then she can be so great to me. But when and wh when is she so great to you? I don't remember. It's kind of like, uh, 
What's that thing called when you get kidnapped and then you fall, in, you've kind of fallen like in love? With? What was it like? Something the, syndrome. The, 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 Stockholm, Stockholm syndrome. Stockholm syndrome. It's kind of like that. I think so. Like you're like you're like in a bank and she's holding a gun to your head, but you like want the person to like you for whatever. Yeah, I still want her to like me. But like, but she's like trying to kill you. You know what I mean? She won't let me die because if I die, she can't. She punish, can't make. Fun she of can't punish me anymore. Right, she's getting off on the punishing. Yeah, she enjoy when I like. I just I don't know. She feel like she gave up her life for mine. I know it's like ridiculous to tell your because I hear this from a lot of my like Chinese American friends or girls who are like who have this kind of, not to this extent but like something similar to this with their moms, and I'm always like, why don't you stop talking to them? And they're like, it's not that easy. And I and I totally understand that, but like sometimes, but like, I I don't know. Maybe like a little a little hiatus would be good. You know? Yeah, that's why I spent year? China for three months. You went to China for three months. She she went to China. Oh, she's she in China to, now. And she didn't call you when she was over. Uh, she is too busy abusing my father right now. Wow. And actually, it's actually really nice. That's a very good thing to do because she's in China three months and she's so disgusted about my dad and my my sister because my sister started eat after her second baby. You know, my sister gained ten pounds. So she's like the first time in her life she's fatter than me, which is very good for me. So my mom's like, oh, I cannot believe you are fatter than Zhao Ying. That is. So now she's because they are around her. She only sees their flaws. She hate them both. She's like angry at them. And then she calls me. She's like, "You are the only good one left." So I'm like, "You can stay in China an extra month because she stopped seeing me. She stopped abusing me. She think about the good things about me." Yeah. She's like you, you just send us uh, like nice fruits, you know, for like nice milk from like uh, Australia, you know, blah blah. Like uh, your sister don't do nothing. I'm like. You should can stay in China longer. Wow. So now she's like, she thinks I'm all good. When she come back three months, she will hate me again. But then I'll be touring more. I mean, it sounds like she's just kind of bored slash looking for her toy, right? Like yes, she just kinda, she's a cat. She's, she's, she's just a like, cat. Just needs something to play with. So she doesn't toy. Say mean everything. She just yeah. likes to fuck with it. She wants to make sure she abuses things around her. Mm -hmm. She has the, uh, I would say like uh, the, the, the God, uh, the, in Chinese we call it the, um, the like uh, like uh, the um, like a mother of God, okay. Maria. Yeah, she's a mother of God. She's like my mom has a mother of God uh, complex. Uh, she wants a thing go her way. If it doesn't go her way, she will destroy you. She will destroy mm. everybody. She will destroy the whole system. I'm not sure if um you know I have not read the Bible, but I don't know if that analogy makes sense because I don't think Jesus' mom was she like a control freak. I feel like she was chill. She was Mary. Sick, but <laughs> she she's was a chill, liar. Right? Like, how can you be a virgin and have a baby? That's I don't know, but she was like, I think she was nice to Jesus. I think. I think. I mean, he was born in a horse shed, right? Like, whatever it is. It was gross. I don't know if that. Yeah, he was born in like a really disgusting place. I think in like a where's, barn. Barn, where's the yeah. horse poops and everything. Yeah, I mean, it was probably like in the vicinity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't think, like, I, I just don't believe in Virgin Mary. Like, how? You don't believe in the Virgin Mary. Yeah, if you have uh, something come out from your vagina that is bigger than any dick would ever come in, would you still call yourself a virgin? You know? Right. Oh, so you think that she she, probably, she didn't have sex, but she doesn't deserve the title of virgin because yeah, if you something have big came something out of her vagina. even bigger than a dick came out from your vagina. Okay. I mean, I are this you still is, virgin? yes. I mean, that's you are you are a man of his science. Like, what do you think? Um. You know, I don't. I, I don't really think about that. Right? Like, yeah, like if it's yeah. A C-section is like a, you had a you had a heart open heart surgery. Something come out. But if you just like open your leg and you you have a head as big as Jesus coming out, like you are not a virgin. So you're saying like virginity is not about the act of sex. It's about the size of things that may have come in and out of your vagina. And if I it exceeds so. a certain length or width, then you are robbed of that title. I think so. That's why it's so sad to be a woman because when a woman is raped, she didn't enjoy the sex. It wasn't even pleasurable, but uh, she will not be a virgin anymore. And uh, that's also like uh, so many women, when they got raped as a virgin, like they don't even get to have a good marriage anymore, you know, back in the days. And just like, Right, like, right, I mean, right, right, right. If, if it wasn't an act of sex from her part, would she still be a virgin? But no, people wouldn't think so. Like anything got in your vagina or out, Got in though. I mean, I hear you, but I feel like at the time, like that topic was maybe like overshadowed by Jesus because Jesus was there and like he's doing like godly things. So maybe like the semantics of like, is your mom still a virgin? Like maybe didn't come up because yeah, like, they don't talk about it. He's like doing God shit, you know what yes. I'm saying? But, but I see your point. You yeah, know? I just think she should not call herself Virgin Mary. I don't think she called herself that. I think other people called her that. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay.
Yeah, I, I, I'm bitter because she's very famous. I don't like famous people. That could mm-hmm. be also. But I just uh, really think about things. Yeah, I'm happy my mom has her other toys to abuse. And, she, and by other toys, you mean your sister? Yeah, my sister it, o- always get a lot because my sister has boundaries. My mom is abusive. She's like, I gotta go. And if my mom is like calling her anything, like, You're, you don't look good today. She goes, I cannot believe you said it to me. I will not come home for two days. And she escaped. She ran away. Mm. And he, he, she wants to beat her, but she's afraid she can't find her. And then, you know, my sister always gets her way. She has boundaries. She has self-respect. And that's what I don't have. Okay. If I had boundaries, I'll be fat. If you had boundaries, you'd be fat. If I had self-respect, self-love, I'll be eating. I've, I would enjoy carbs. I would enjoy gaining. You don't eat carbs? I do. How can you avoid carbs? You're Asian, bro. I, I eat. I try to not eat it. I mean, I eat it, but I remember whenever I try to eat rice, my husband moved my rice bowl. Oh, my dude. He's like, you don't want that. I'm like, I, but I do. He goes, we have mirrors, and you should know you don't want it. Like, it were you dating a seventh grade bully? Like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> no, this he wasn't. He wasn't insane. bullying. <laughs> he was showering me with jewelry, diamonds, and fucking Rolex. But at the moment, I had the babies, and he just like started treating me like garbage. Wow, that was kind of funny. And I just like, oh, I'm like, oh, that's what my mom do. Oh, that's nice. But I, I eventually, I think that's why I have a lot of jokes about fat and things. But like, I don't really dislike fat people. I think people who like they literally do not give a fuck about what people think about them. They eat what they want to eat. It's because they they have self love. As in mm-hmm. Chinese we say xin quan ti pan. It's like if your heart is widened and opened up, your body could be fatter because you just give less fuck and you just live a happier life. Yeah. So I mean being fat is good. Buddha's fat. Buddha Buddha was fat for sure. Yeah. Um I, I don't even know if like even the you using the word language fat is interesting to me because you, you're still using it like in a negative way because that's the way your mom taught it to you. Mm-hmm. But like this Buddhist analogy you just used, he said like if your heart is bigger, your body can get bigger because you love yourself. Yeah. Right? Like I think having a bigger body doesn't have to mean like unhealthy. It just means like normal. Like whatever whatever is normal for your body. Some people are born skinny. Some people are born a little bit bigger. Yeah, I really think you know? people… Yeah. But you know what? This, this, you bring up a good point about like your husband and even this guy you're fucking this comedian guy who brought up ticket sales, mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of times for a man, it's about control. Men just want control. Oh, yeah, and do. so him, your husband removing the rice mm-hmm. and telling you there's mirrors is like kind of on the same energy as the guy you're giving a hand job to and he's like, I sold out my my show yeah. next week at this venue that holds 50 people. <laughs> you, know, fuck, you know? 48. Yeah, yeah. It's like, a, it's like they want sort of like control. Because I'm such an alpha... F- Female people yes. discuss men. Men hate me. Exactly. Like, I can be cute, but they are, they don't like I'm so alpha. And it's hard for me to yeah. get any guy to really like, uh, like me, like me. Mm-hmm. Like, really like me because I'm such an alpha female. Has there any, has there been other comedians you've hooked up with and they've done weird things like that? I didn't hook up with this guy, but like, uh, uh, He's like really hot, and I always loved his comedy. Okay, we've been flirting kind of like for a few years, and like uh, recently, you know, we had this like little cute moment in the green room. And oh, what is this? Are you making a rice ball? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you like doing? What room? is this? He's like so cute. He's like high school. We just stared at each other. Okay. He's like, oh, that's the high. He said, sorry, my uh, I'm drinking from this cup. It looks. Trader Park, but it's just that it's cleaner than the glasses in the club. I'm like, I didn't look at it. My eyes are small. I don't really see over there. Yeah. And he's like, oh. Then he looked at me. And then he just like, kissed me on my lips. What the fuck? It was just you and him in the green room or was there some other guy? And then like the moment he kissed me and somebody pushed it in, it got in. And, uh, uh, you know, Jose from the kitchen, you know. To- okay, well. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm like, what was that? And then we we didn't talk about it. We didn't talk to each other after that. Wow. Because I just don't want. You did know. you like the kiss? It wasn't even like a real kiss. It's like a, a little peck. Yeah, but, yeah. But on the lips or on the cheek? On the lips, like right here. Were you expecting it? I wasn't, but I, I would want him to kiss me, and I would just move away, be like, "Oh, you want to kiss me?" But I don't. But then I do. I, I want to be dramatic, but I was like, "Yeah, oh, you better really kiss nice. me, motherfucker." I didn't say that. You can't say you "better kiss me, motherfucker." That's like, yeah, I know, I know that. That's a lot of, it that's shows a lot my of true color. Yeah. You leave, but I didn't want to date him. But we just have this like really cute energy, sure. like high school energy. Yeah, I, I like his comedy, and he is he 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 think I'm beautiful, 
and he think I'm uh, funny. And he kissed you in the yeah. room. Yeah, uh, but we did not. It wasn't even wet. It was like a. That's okay. But he's like a high school. You're right. I he probably kissed. wanted to do more, but there's you know people could walk in. Yeah. Also, like uh, I don't think I would do more because I I, I know it's not gonna work out. Yeah. Oh, you mean like dating wise? Yeah, yeah. What if you just want to have sex with him? But you don't, you don't do that. I'm going to ruin his life because my gonna... is so good. He's not going to recover. A lot of people say that. I, I'm what is up kidding. with people saying that? <laughs> what is that even? My pussy is so good. It's going to ruin your life. <laughs> oh, God. I'm like, I, I hear that a lot. And I'm like, oh, just for context, I'm in like an open relationship. So sometimes I'll sleep with people and they'll say that stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, you're going to, you're like, they'll be like, oh, like you're going to leave your girlfriend for me. And I'm like, no, I'm fucking not, dude. Like, <laughs> I, it's, it's like, I don't know if it's like in my 30s, but like I have such little love to give. I like have so little energy. I hate everything. Your pussy is not going to change my life. You know what I'm saying? Not Wait, you, but just like the proverbial. You have the 4.0 um, energy. You're just, this is a really nice um, open relationship sex, outside sex. You're going to give the best outside sex sex and you're going to go back to your nest. That's what you are doing. My next, yeah. Yeah, my next, you, you yeah. have your. But anytime a girl's like, my, I'm gonna ruin your life. It reminds me of like, you ever like, I don't know if you watch porn, but there's like, you ever go to Pornhub? You know of porn? course I watch porn. I'm a. Well, you don't you don't touch yourself. You just fucking watch oh, porn, and watch eat popcorn gang like a fucking bang. psycho. What I watch do you mean? Gangbang. But what are you don't touch? You're not touching yourself. No, I just watch it. I just like uh, sit here, cross my leg real tight, so tight that I'm doing kegel when I watch porn. So I come. You watch porn and you sit like this. I, what are you? Are, are you watching on TV? Uh, because people watch porn like yeah. slouched over. No, no. Their laptop is on, here. On my TV, I sit in the back of my couch because there's nobody in the house. So I just sit here, but I would like cross my leg. I'll be yeah. doing Kegel because I have to hold my hand on the… If you, you have to, you know, hold your of course. hand when you do Kegel. So I can Kegel my pussy while I'm watching porn so I can be turned on. Oh my god. But anyways, I can't touch myself. You know those ads on the side of Pornhub that are like… <laughs> watch this video and you'll come in seven seconds. Yeah. It's like, it reminds me of that. And I'm like, no, I'm <laughs> fucking not, dude. Anyways. That's hilarious. But, you know, sh shout out to your pussy and, and, yeah, and, I, the, and my, men's yeah, lives you've ruined. All the Kegel. Yeah. All the Kegel. I, I Kegel every day. Go to sleep. I Kegel. I sleep. I do my, in my why you do? Why are you doing that? You want I don't to be know. tight it's, or something? It just happens. It just happens. Yeah, it's like what I do when I'm nervous. You do Kegels when you're nervous? Yeah, since I was little. That is so interesting. You must have a crazy right fucking grip. Yeah. Oh, I can break a dick. Well, if I want. <laughs> that's that's is if that I like, want is to. that even like a thing that people want? No, they don't. But some guy do. But I don't do that to wow. guys because I I I I I, I, we, I I don't get dicks. You get a lot of pussy. But you are a man mm. and you are handsome. And you are a comedian. And when you make a woman laugh, they just like they're just like there's there's you need to market a bucket like this mop it. This is wet everywhere. Girls oh, like love funny guys, but like a funny girl, haha, <laughs> funny. But like they don't want to fuck you because it's giving alpha female when you are funny. That's interesting. Um, I had something weird happen to me, and I, I want to get your thought on it. I did a show in the Bay in, in San Francisco, and I was doing two shows. After the first show, I, I have a joke about how I don't know how to spank girls, and I and I do it wrong. It's mm -hmm. like bit, I'm not gonna do it, but it's just it's just. I need about, I need that joke. Huh. That's a funny joke. Thank you. So I have a joke about spanking, right? And how I don't do it right. And then after the show, I do like a meet and greet. And this girl, she kind of had like alpha energy. She came, she came up to me and she's like, oh, if you want to um, if you wanna practice spanking, like we can go do that right now. And I thought it was very forward, right? But then I say, oh, I, I was like, I was like, I don't know what to say. I was like, oh, that's so nice. And then, and then, and then I say, oh, well, like I'm totally down. But, um, you know, I have a show after this. So we would have to be after that. And she goes, what time? And I'm like, I'll probably be done by like, I don't know, like 10, 10, 30 or 11. And she goes, nah, that's too late for me. <laughs> and I'm like, who the fuck is kinky but has a curfew, you know? Oh I was my like, what God. the fuck? But it was like, it like I was like mad because I'm You like, should be, I'm mad too. Not like at her, but at, at this concept of like, it's just so weird to be like, I'm a little slut, but it's like not until 945. You yeah, know then I mean? you turn into like a fucking menopausal, like a Yeah, grandma. it's like weird. That's, it's like, uh, that's, that's weird. I mean, I'm not, hey, I'm not shaming. Maybe maybe we need to normalize sluts before, you know, in, in the in early like evening sluts, talk. you know? But I just it's thought it was sluts. interesting. It was Because the energy was very like, I'm going to fuck you right now. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, oh, can you wait till 11? And she was like, no. Oh my God. Yeah. Bay Area bitches, they just, they go to early. Like, I don't know. Too, too early. I, I don't know if you've had like an issues like that where like, are you are you willing to stay up for dick? Uh, if it's, if I think it's good, I will. You'll stay up. Oh yeah. I'm a, I'm a romantic person. Like I am, uh, well, not sure I will. Yeah. I that's funny you think that's romantic. Like, I'm, I'm waiting up for his dick. Yeah, the dick so, coming. I'm such a romantic, a romantic girly. I have, 
<laughs> making the tea. You know what romance is? Doing some flowers, arrangements. Um, the dick is coming. I, I, I just, the dick is coming. Like, if it's a good dick, I'll wait. Yo, you know, I will wait for the dick. If right, it's right, good, right, I'll right. buy you a Rolex. I mean, I do. I reward a good dick. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I really just think good dicks are good for people. Especially, I can't touch myself. I can't have a toy. A good dick is life saving. See, now that you told me this, your energy makes sense because I always thought. I was like, why is Zhao Yan giving this like… Not to me necessarily, but like in general. I always thought you had this like… Sort of like intense horny energy. Yeah. But I didn't really know why. Because I was like, she must be like getting laid and stuff all the time. But it's be, I, it's because you don't can't masturbate. I can't. And so it's sort of coming out of this like… All the… Th- like that energy I can suppress with my hands. A lot of people can just suppress that with your yeah, hands. I can't. But you can't. No. So you need the dick. I need a dick. And if I can't get a dick, I, 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 I work. You work. Like I, I do, become a workaholic. Oh, I see. I, 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 see, I post see. videos. I make videos. And I distract do emails. I, contra- like I do all kinds. Like that is a, interesting. So you're saying you became like a successful stand-up comedian by accident because you just wanted to fuck and you couldn't find a dick. So I can't get… And you're also, like, I guess I'll just write jokes and then now also, you're like… Also, I, I have to have the dick I want. If the dick I don't want, I can't fuck it because I, I, I got disgust mm-hmm, mm-hmm. by myself. Yeah. And I go, oh, why would I sleep with this guy? Like I would be sick for a week. Have you ever told a guy that you don't like his dick? When he's taking yeah. off his pants. Oh, yeah. Or, or is it one of those… Because you're a nice person. If he takes off his pants, you're like, I guess I'll just fucking do it because I'm already here. No, no. I'm like, no, that's um, that's really generous of you. But I have to go because I have an abortion. <laughs> I have to go because I have an abortion appointment. <laughs> it's, it's, it's 11 p.m. on a Friday. I have an abortion right now. I'm actually pregnant I, right now. Yeah, I, I, would, I would just… I would be honest because I know I can't do it. Because when I see some dick, I know is. Like it doesn't turn me on. You see, like some porn, you see this disgusting guy with their like. Even though their dick's big and nice, whatever it is, but like if they have this nasty energy, I just like I'm like, oh, I feel so. Oh, that's so interesting. So it's not about the size; it's an energy. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Because I can't take a dick that's too big. It's not gonna feel good. It's like uh, sitting on fire hydrant. You know, it's like uh, why would you do that? God, that's just like a really intense imagery. Yeah, I'm like, why would I do that? (laughs) You know. So I, I just, when I see some dick, I know I don't want, I'll be like, no, I rarely go wrong. But if I was wrong, when I see the dick I don't want, I'll be like, uh, I, I just forgot, like, you know, I, I, I need to feed my dog. And just go home. Mm-hmm. Oh, good for you. I can't do it because if I do it, I'll, I'll think about my mom and it's like touching myself. If I fuck a dick I don't like, it's like me touching myself. I'll be disgusted by myself. Oh, like, it's like the same thing. It's just like a default to the moment of oh, like, you're, you're, you're a whore, disgusting. You're a whore, you're disgusting, you should die. Wow. But if you have a wonderful dick, you don't feel like a whore. Oh, I feel good. I feel good. I have good so you're, skin. You're just… <laughs> yeah. I feel so, so good. You're just looking for some dick that's not going to make you feel like a whore. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Which is the very dick that makes me feel like a whore. Mm-hmm. The good, nice dick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. clean, nice… Nice, clean dick. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful dick. Yeah. Hey, well, shout out in the comments below if you got a nice, yeah. beautiful it's dick. Clean. I'm sure… Do you fuck your fans? Uh, I just uh, was talking to uh, Jocelyn Chia, uh, the the New York comedian. Do you know mm-hmm. her? I know Jocelyn. Yeah. Jocelyn was like, uh, "What?" So I was like, "Oh my god!" Last night there's a fan, in New York comedy club, Australian guy. Oh my god, he was so hot. He was just like, "I would love to uh, invite you for lunch tomorrow." I made a reservation. Uh, you know, just you know, just made it uh, just in case you would have time. I said, "No, I don't do that." He was so cute. I'm like. How old are you? I'm 28. I'm like, okay. Um, bye. And I'm like, oh my God. If I w- he wasn't my fan, I would fuck him. But then I'm like, I can't do that. Then just like, what's wrong with you, bitch? She fucks her fans. Yeah. Oh, and she's saying you should too. She's like, you should do because you are not going to meet anybody. You're going to die alone and the bad oh, stuff. She didn't God. say that. She was sweet. <laughs> she's like, what's wrong with you? You just say like, uh, let's have lunch. Mm. Yeah, but you don't want lunch. I mean… You want to go home and… I, I mean, I, I, the problem is like if his dick was so good and he's so sweet, I, I, I'm just going to see him. I'm, I'm, I, I can't do one night stand. I tried. Oh, you can't. Oh, I see. I, see. I fall in love. Every time? Not, not fall. I don't think I fall in love, but I, I would just do the things that before you fall in love. Like you right, start right. to like, oh, is he texting me? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Let yeah, me see. Yeah, yeah. Did he see my story? Yeah. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. Let me use a different account to see his story. And he didn't know I'm seeing his story. Like I'm such a disgusting little pathetic <laughs> little fucking ugly high school bitch. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't be the hot girl. I just can't sure. do it. I'm not a hot girl. Like I, in my mind, I'm like ID for after I have a good dick, I just become this. But I feel like 
in comedy, like sometimes it's like a superpower in a way that like, I, you know, I wasn't the hot guy in high school either. Mm-hmm. I wasn't popular either. But sometimes, like I think through comedy, I've been able to sort of like connect with women who I thought were like way above my league. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like you could do that too. Like it, like sparingly so that you don't feel too bad about having sex all the time. But I'm sure they're like, you know, I'm like just with Jocelyn. Like if that hot Australian guy hits on you, like… Why not, dude? Like, do that for your high school Jalin. You know what I mean? Like, I wish I could. I didn't do it. I don't know why. I have like, I, I have this like, a, my, I, my mom just like did a slut shaming culture. Like, she would just tell me examples of but, which but cousin. But if he's kiss hot, the you're not a slut. He's so hot though. Yeah, if he's hot, then I think it's like fine. He's watching this right now. He's gonna DM me right now. He's like a really but you want that DM. loyal fan. You, I want that DM, yeah. and I'll just uh, double tap his heart and give him. I don't know, like a kissy kissy emoji, like a you know, kangaroo and little cute little emojis. Yeah, but you wanna, you wanna do. He look cute. Yeah, yeah. I would. Uh, hey, well, I would if, you're, if you're receiving kangaroo emojis out there, <laughs> Xiao Ying wants more, and she's giving you permission. <laughs> I never she's giving you fan. consent to do more. I never fucked a fan. I think you should. I mean, I can. Afford I think to you lose deserve one. it. You can afford one. I can afford to lose one. Oh, you think <laughs> you'll lose one? <laughs> Why? Why? Because I thought you said, oh, because you're going to ruin his life with your pussy. That's right. Yeah, and then I won't okay. call him anymore. I'll be like, I can't go to Australia. I don't like the accent. Yeah. Also, yeah, you have yeah. this thing on the beach that bites me, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have weird things in the, on the beach. Yeah, you can afford this one fan. That's fine. I can, lose, I can afford to lose That's one. That's one way to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I would never do that, I guess. You are very funny for me. You're you're, very, I'm not sure if I was on this podcast. This, this went everywhere. You know, we talked yeah. about some silly shit. We talked we, about we, we sexual really assault. Shit. I don't know how to react I, to that. I want you to put your hand on your heart and be honest with me about this one question. If you marry, you, you bring home a Chinese girlfriend or a Korean girlfriend, which one your mom would likely to accept a little bit more? Um, My parents are like pretty chill. I also have a suspicion my dad is Korean. Like, you know the secret ones in Japan? Mm-hmm. The people who can't… But he, they pretend to be the Japanese. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling he's that. But it's not been confirmed. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're pretty… I don't know. I didn't… Growing up, I didn't hear a lot of like… Well, that's not true. I was going to say, I, haven't, I didn't hear a lot of racist rhetoric. But I totally did. But but it wasn't like… I, I think they would accept both. But But they would say things like… Yeah, I'm trying to think of all the racist things they said about Chinese people and Korean people growing up. I remember there was a news story in Japan about how this frozen dumpling company got in trouble in China because they filled the dumplings with half meat, half cardboard box. I <laughs> thought it was a rat meat. I don't know. We, we in Japan it was like cardboard box, and my, it's rat meat. Okay, well, how dare you insult us? Like you are insulting us with that's the cardboard. Worse. Who that's would worse, do that? By the way, it's I'd rat rather meat. eat a fucking it's IKEA meat. box than a fucking. <laughs> it's rat meat. But anyways, we saw that, and then they would say like, "Well, Chinese people," you know, they would say shit like that. They would say shit like that with Koreans. I'm not sure. I, I it was it was more like with Koreans, they would say shit like, um, like if they're golfing, uh-huh. if they're like golfing, and um, you know, uh, sometimes. Uh, Asian people talk loud, mm-hmm. and so the the peop, the white people would ask them to be quiet. Mm-hmm. But the people that the white people would ask to be quiet are always Korean. Like they would say Korea. shit like that. They, you know what I mean? Which I don't think is necessarily true. I think my mom could be loud as hell. Mm-hmm. But that's the kind of like kind of racism that I would hear. But I think if I brought home anybody, I, I think they would be. How about your grandparents? My grandparents. What would they I don't. Say? I don't. I really don't think they would care, man. I don't. I, they I just cry when they are eat, drinking their I never, miso soup in the morning by themselves. Like, fool me, bro, I'm a Chinese girl. <laughs> but like, I didn't hear that growing up. Being like, no Chinese girls, because you know, I grew up in Japan, kind of. So there's not a lot of Chinese people there, <laughs> you know, that I would meet on a day to day basis. But yeah, I don't know. You, but did you hear growing up like no Japanese boys? I mean, I really do want a Japanese boyfriend. My mom, that would take her down. Me It'd having a Japanese down. boyfriend, she'll have a mental. Like Maybe that's what you breakdown. need to combat her. I know. I'll have myself a beautiful Japanese man. And, uh, you know, he'll be on time. Mm-hmm. And he'll be like uh, so clean and sleek and bring flowers and nice and stuff. And uh, she'll just uh, have a heart attack. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. it wasn't even my fault. I'm like, I just fall in love. What do you want, mom? You know, that would be the best way to go. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like, you, you, you know, killing them softly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a battle with you and your mom, you know. Yeah. I, you should have her on the podcast. 
With she a, was. With a, she with made a me media. famous in China. She was on my podcast still. This one? Yeah, she made me famous in China because Patton Oswalt got, got COVID. I mean, I just texted him. He got COVID from me. I don't know what happened. So he was, I was going to have Patton Oswalt, but he got COVID. So my mom had to come. But Patton came on later, uh, a few weeks later. My mom was on my podcast. She made me famous in China. What happened? She was on the podcast. I said, Mom, I know you don't think I'm beautiful, but... Uh, to be honest, in America, dark skin is beautiful. Like a big jaw, big cheeks are beautiful. She goes, Americans' eyes are bigger. They should see better. Uh, you're still ugly. Uh, your lips are like a pig lips and the, uh, your skin's too dark. Uh, you are unattractive and uh, you sh- that's why you are... She did it here comedy. at WTF Studios. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in Chinese. <laughs> and I have a clip went to China. Christ. Every Chinese girl starts sharing it. It went to like billions of views. What do you mean? They're sharing it as in like, they just like your mom is right. Or are they sharing it like, this happens to my mom? You know? Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. That's good. There's a revolution now. Oh, they were like, they were like, you know what? This is too much. Back. So, so all the Chinese girls are crying over it. They were like, and they went so viral. That's how I got on GQ and uh, Cosmopolitan because all the Chinese girls are relating to me. Wow! And they were just like, "Oh my God, this is what I'm going through every day." I'm so happy she brought this to the light. Yeah. And my mom just like, "Oh, it went to a billion views. So I'll come back. What should I do next? Slap you?" I mean, that would get a trillion views. People were yeah. people telling her, "You are, you know, you are more ugly than your daughter. You are fatter than your daughter." She got bullied online. Like, you are so fat and ugly. How dare you say this about your daughter? I was so happy. I screenshot everything. I printed out and give it to her. <laughs> I trusted what, it too. I'm like, mom, that's Chinese, so you know it is. What does she say? What does she react? She's like, well, the more comments, the more people see it. The more people see it, the more money you make. So I don't care. I'll oh. slap you. I'll beat you up next time. The classic Asian mom Tai Chi move. You yeah, know, she's like can't. she's she's crying in the corner. But, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. she's like showing me she's so strong and tough. Mm. About everything. Damn. Yeah, she was here. She abused. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to watch that episode. She's learning English for me. Did you, yeah, I was gonna say, did you do the podcast in Chinese or in Chinese? But she's learning English. She can abuse me soon in two languages. That's oh, that's that's awful. innovating. That's just really bad. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing my Japanese. Oh uh, yeah. I feel like really culturally, culturally, culturally appropriating. No, it's fine. Yeah, this is beautiful. I've never had anyone wear the thing from my culture. Like, to respect it'd, you. It'd be like if I did. You were born in Japan, though. It's like, like if you are just like from Oklahoma, I'm not gonna respect you any. You just you probably. You know, oh, but I was raised in Ohio. Did you know that? I mean, but you were born in Japan. Yes, I was born in Japan. And yeah, I right. Here, so if yes. you were born in Ohio, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring some uh, I don't know Philadelphia sushi. Philadelphia, Philadelphia sushi. Roll. Oh yeah, yeah with the cream with cheese. cheese. I'm like that's oh, that's, that's fucking bullshit, by, man. by the way, I don't I don't know if this is true, but you know in in America the sushi the su- the seaweed is on the inside. Yeah. But if you go to Japan, seaweed is on the outside. Yeah. Did they do that because like the black color is like too much for white people? That could be because the, the the nori is there so you can hold it without your hands getting sticky. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't make any sense that the seaweed is on the inside of the sushi. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think so. It's racist. Yeah, they are okay. for sure. I know that. Just let me know if you know what's going on there. I've yeah. just always been curious about why the series on the inside. So for me, how 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 was the moment when you become the hot guy getting all the offers from hot girls? What are you when even you talking become, about? When you become, you know, as a comedian, that you, you're just getting all the hot girls. I don't get all the hot girls. That's yeah, but you, you don't do it because you only do the ones you want to do. But I'm saying it's like the, the shift, you know, happens, right? When you were like... A, not so popular in high school. Oh, I mean, I don't, Abbey. I'll be honest with you. I don't know if it's comedy or if it's just like, I think Asian, a lot of Asian people look younger in high school. Mm-hmm. And so I think I just looked like a child and a lot of my white friends looked like men. So and they don't so, want to, the they, girls don't want to be a pedophile. They don't want to be a pedophile. And so it's like, thank you for not fucking me. But now I look like a, an adult. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I, I don't know if it's comedy or if, if I just look like somebody you're legally allowed to fuck. You know. Do do you think also your comedy, the confidence coming from the comedy, it also I think so. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, the attention is nice. I mean, again, I, I want to make it very clear. I'm not getting DMs all the time or anything mm-hmm. like that. But sometimes I do from hot girls and it's very nice. Keep keep it's them nice, coming. Right? It's good for it's you. A good, it's, like a, it's a good confidence thing. Even if nothing happens, it's nice. Yeah. You know? yeah, I like when hot guys send me things. I, yeah. I, I don't reply most of the time. I, I just uh, really just like, mm, that's cute. I like mm. that. That's See, cute. that's good that because I feel like if you're hot, I, it's hard for me not to accept and like heart it or something. I'll know? heart it sometimes. Oh, but you do accept the message and you heart it. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I would heart it if it's like uh, somebody I imagine like, oh, I, I mean, I would not fuck them, but I'll think about fucking them. Yeah. Like, then 
they will get hard. So you whoever s- get hard for me, yeah, I thought about I may fuck you, yeah. but I won't. But I'm just saying, a hard for me is like, mm. <laughs> but why? You have these boundaries with your fans. Yeah. Why? I don't know why. I, I, I my mom's voice is like, oh, a, okay, so you're you are gonna be a village whore. You are, you are, you are ugly and oh, a whore. Oh, and I guess you in a way, you are, you are not. Pretty. Your fans are your village. That's yeah, true. That's, that's true. That's my village. I, I just, yeah. I can't do it. I, 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 everything default back to the like the intense, intense. Like, but would you shame. fuck someone who didn't know who you were, and they were just like, oh, I just saw you for the first time. Because to me, that's not a fan. To if, me, that's just someone who saw you. Yeah, if tonight. I'm very attracted to them, yeah. and if uh, uh, I, I, I just like I cannot do one stand. It, it gave me more trauma because I would oh, think about that guy, and right, I was right, like, right, oh, right. are we gonna see each other again? I don't want to yeah. do that. Then I, I, I default back into a little. But I'm sure there's some fans of yours who want a serious relationship, you know. But if they got to know me, they'll be like, oh, it's like Marina. You went back to visit Marina Monroe. You woke up with me, mm. Norma Jean. You know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I just uh, I feel like uh, the more confident I got, I mean the 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 better boundary I have and the less dick I'm getting mm-hmm. because I scare away man. Yeah, I mean a lot of men want to fuck me. Sure, it's a good fuck, but they don't want to date me because I'm just too intense. I'm very intense for me. You know, well, that. I might know that. Like you know how intense <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm As my friend, you're like, a, yeah, yeah, you know that, and that's yeah. not going away. You imagine yeah. this twenty four seven. This is twenty four seven. You think? Me being intense? Yeah. I mean, when well, I'm sleeping. You must get tired. I want to see you tired. I just sleep for like five hours. Then I come back and be like, mm, all right. So in the morning, you're fucking yes. back at it. Yes. Wow. Let's, let's show them who's daddy. You know, I'm going to. Wow. My work energy. I'm like, let me sell this bitch out. to show them who's daddy. Yeah. Because I mean, my mom never got me and my father was never there, you know. I, I think, but I think there's a guy out there. Who would really like that? Who would be like, oh, like that's like you're like my sunshine, you know? Like I love this. It's a source of energy. You inspire me. Oh, I'm sure there's someone like that, man. Maybe he exists somewhere. I know far, that guy. Far exists. away in the galaxy. No, 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 no. He's somewhere in your DMs, in your hidden DMs. Okay, let me check the DMs. <laughs> Bethany, Bethany, my my assistant. And she's a yeah. SC student. She's a very smart little girl from New York okay, City. Okay, check the DMs. She check check DMs and you know, screenshot me if you see the IQ. <laughs> She's 21. She didn't know what's cute. Aww. She sent me some Justin Bieber stuff. Whatever. That's great. Oh, I can't fuck a young kid. You have an assistant. You have a little Japanese racist coat. You're killing it, man. <laughs> I love this. You're killing the game. Look oh at you. Thank you. You're great. Oh my God. We we have a fire episode. Where can we find you, Fumi? Um, you can find me on Instagram and TikTok at the Fumi Abe. That's T-H-E-F-U-M-I-A-B-E. Check out my podcast, Cash Cuties, where we look through our friends' credit card statements and we judge their spending habits with love. I'm also on tour. Um, I don't know when this comes out, but I'm coming to uh, Dallas, DC, New York, LA, a bunch of other cities. So if you want to come see me, uh, just go to fumiabe.com and my dates are on there. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I'm touring all over. Summerscomedy.com. Get your tickets now. Bye-bye. Sayonara. 